Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Eker, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up the tombstone glitch to work every single time for you guys. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like. You can obviously tell we have the awesome Christmas event going on right now in the background. So I hope you guys are having fun. I hope you guys have a great holiday that's coming up this time of year. But if you guys are looking to play with other people, uh, have any questions, need any help with setting up a tombstone, maybe some other perks, definitely check out my Twitch as I'm always giving away tons and tons of schematics for you guys. You guys will see here in the video as well as I have a Discord channel for you guys to go join. But if you guys do need help with stuff, like I said, go ahead and join that Discord. But without further ado, let's talk about today's sponsor. If you guys are looking to unlock the new MW3 camos such as Interstellar, Borealis, Hard Unlocked, or even play in bot lobbies where you can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly, or even the instant delivery pre-made accounts, be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. They include tons of legitimate services for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, and have over 10,000 Trustpilot page reviews. Be sure to use code Eker for 5% off. Don't forget, act fast. Alrighty, guys. So... First things first, in order to set up your tombstone to go ahead and duplicate and glitch out items, you're obviously going to need the tombstone perk. Now, I already have my tombstone set up right here, which will go ahead and show you what we currently have in here. If I go ahead and open this, you're going to see that I have max essence. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and get max essence, there is no duplication glitch right now to go ahead and duplicate your money. But if you can find somebody, like I said, in my Discord, or if you can join into my live stream, we're live almost every day, I'm always dropping money and helping people set up their tombstones. So that is always a plus, um, but in order to set up Tombstone, you're obviously going to need that Tombstone perk, which in my match, it's actually going to be located right over here. It's going to be this little sky icon, or skull icon, sorry. But you need to have this, and you need to have the stuff you want to duplicate. So for instance, my bag originally was the VR11 case, the Scorcher plans, the legendary Aether Duel plans, the Aether Blade plans, the Golden Armor, the Flawless Ethereum, and the Dog Bone. So this is the stuff that I am dropping live on stream, and obviously you can put whatever you want in here. But if you guys want to, go ahead and pull all the stuff out that you want to duplicate from either your stash or grind in game to get those items that you want to start duplicating. Go ahead and pop that tombstone, and then go ahead and down yourself. What I mean by that is you guys are going to need to die and fully exit out of the game, which you can do by just leaving the match after you guys end up dying. All you're going to want to do is drink that tombstone can and go ahead and pick wherever you would like your tombstone to permanently be. This is going to be just like my other videos, but we're going to kind of do a quick little easy workaround on how to keep your tombstone constantly, how to always have all your stuff, and how to max everything out. So obviously with max essence, you're going to either need to have somebody to drop the essence for you or grind a whole bunch of missions with your friends and have them drop the money for you before you activate your tombstone can. So once again, you're going to need to have tombstone. You're going to need to have a stash full of the items that you wish to duplicate. And then you're going to down yourself wherever you are. And then from there, you're going to leave the game. You don't want to plea. You don't want to have anybody revive you. And you don't want to have a self res on you when you are preparing to do the tombstone glitch. So once you do that, you'll have something like this. So you'll spawn into your game, you'll come into where your tombstone is, and then you're on the same part as me. So all I'm going to do is pick up everything from my tombstone and make sure that this crumbles. Now recently, I don't have a large backpack, so I am working with an extra medium backpack that I have to drop every game, which is no problem because this helps me give a medium backpack to viewers, so that way they can make sure they get all of the new schematics. And from here, once your tombstone crumbles, you guys are good to go and drop the items that you wish to drop, keep them, go ahead and make your life easier in tier 3, or maybe going against the red worm and stuff like that. But for you guys to keep this tombstone glitch working every single time, you're going to need to go to a story mission. Yes, you can do it with tier 1 exfils, but it can get buggy. What I mean by that is manglers get onto that uh, helicopter and it ends up bugging out your game. And obviously we are recording with the new... Uh, Santa event going on or the Christmas event and it's going to make things a little bit easier for you guys to know that this is still Available to do and it's not patch So what I'm currently doing is I'm going to one of these star missions that I can go ahead and activate if you guys don't have these star missions It's okay. You guys still have access to bad signal Everybody has bad signal on their map no matter if they have these story missions done or not So all we're going to do is go ahead and make our way over to a tier 2 expo Which will be where all the story missions are and then from here You're going to go ahead and call in the helicopter just like normal and then you're just going to go ahead and wait. Once you get into these story missions, zombies really don't spawn near you. So even if you guys don't have a Pack-a-Punch, just run a couple decoy grenades. Or if you have an Aether Blade, throw one of those on. It's going to make your life so much easier. Now from here, if you guys want a little pro tip, so that way you guys don't lose your tombstone at all, make sure you exfil solo. We've been doing this live on stream for a couple days now. And some of the bugs have happened to us where our game crashes. 
uh, or where we have somebody exfilling with us and it ends up making us lose our tombstone. So if your game crashes, you should still be good going back into game. If you guys go down, you guys should still be good for having your tombstone set up for the next game. But if you guys do end up exfilling with somebody else in the helicopter, whether it's a teammate or if it's just a random person, it can bug out your tombstone and make you lose everything. So make sure if you guys are doing these exfills, you guys need to be going solo. If you guys are doing it with your friends in the same lobby as you and you guys are all duplicating stuff, um, you guys do need to make sure you are solo. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys what happens when I hop onto this ship. Go ahead and you can see the timer goes down to four. We're going to go ahead and exfil just like normal, but we're obviously going to keep everything in our rucksack. So I'm going to go ahead and have the game out ready to close just like normal. Then once I hear that sound cue, I'm going to close out the game. Should be any second now. All we're gonna do is close out the game just like that. If you guys are on computer or PC, you guys just need to either unplug the ethernet cord or you guys need to do Alt F4, close that task manager, some way to get your game to close fast enough to the point where as soon as you hear that sound cue or that black screen commit, you guys can close the game. If you're on PlayStation or Xbox, obviously just close out the game. And then loading back up, you're going to see that we still have all of our stuff in our bag from a normal expo. And then we're gonna go ahead and go back in and show you guys that my tombstone is still in the same place with all of the same items in there. So just to show you guys that this glitch is still working with even the Christmas event going on. So go ahead, head up zombies, and we'll go ahead and show you guys that we have all of this stuff still in our rucksack. And I can go back and rinse and repeat this over and over again to have max essence and whatever else I wish. So you can see I done it correctly because I have not only all of my items in here, but you are not even supposed to be able to have the Aether Blade constantly in your lethal. So we'll go ahead and just start it up one more time, show you guys that this glitch still is working. I have everything on me in my bag and I'm going to have everything still in my tombstone to keep duplicating over and over again. So I'm gonna find somebody in the game, go ahead and drop all the items for them and then have another set ready to go. So we'll go ahead and cut this part out and I'll show you guys here in a second. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we are spawning back in. Still got that awesome Christmas music in the background. And you can see in the corner of my screen, my tombstone is still procced with the same amount of stuff in it. And it's going to be obviously on the other side of the map for my RNG. But if you guys do this correctly over and over again, you guys are going to have unlimited stuff in your tombstone. And I'll go ahead and show you guys it's in the same location on top of that crane over there. So we'll go ahead and make our way over there. We'll cut this part out so you guys don't gotta watch this boring part, but we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so we're going ahead and making our way up to the uh, crane where we were originally and we'll go ahead and show you guys that we still have all of our stuff still in sitting in here and we can go ahead and pull it once again. So we have obviously everything right here that we just pulled from the last exfil. And then right here, we have everything once again. Guys, that is going to be how you do the tombstone glitch. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I hope you guys do hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys have a great holiday. Love you guys. Peace.